In this lesson, we're going to use JavaScript to replace digits or numbers, actually, with the word that represents that number. So the digit 1 will be replaced by the string O-N-E. The digit 5 will be replaced by the string F-I-V-E. So let's get started. I've already created a HTML document that contains the basics of a form. We have a text field and a button. And all we have to do is add our JavaScript functions to perform the regular expression replacing. So to do this, we're going to have two functions. The first function is going to take a digit and return the string representation of the digit. And then the second function will use this first function in actually performing the regular expression replacement. This first function is called D to S for digit to string. And it's going to take a digit as an argument and then return the string representation of that digit. The way we're going to do that is we're going to create an array that consists of string representations of numbers. Now with this array, we can simply pass the digit as a array subscript or an array index and have it return the right string. So that if we pass the digit 0 to the function, it will return the string 0. If we return the digit 2, it will return the string TWO. Now we need to use this function in another function that actually performs the regular expression replacement. We'll call that change. It's going to take a string, which will be the string coming from the text field. We'll create a new variable, which I'm going to call RETSTR for return string, and it calls the replace function from our original string. The replace function takes different sets of arguments, but for this particular version, it's going to take a regular expression and our function, D to S. And then every time it finds a match with a digit, that digit will be passed to the function and its string representation will be returned. So our regular expression is going to look like this, simply a digit. We want to do it globally throughout the string, so we add the g to that, and then our function call. And then we return our return string. Actually, we're not going to return the return string. What we're going to do is, is we're going to just set it right back into the form. So, just to work through the example, we'll type a string into this text field, then we'll click the replace button, the replace button will call the change function with the value of the words text field. That string is passed to change. The replace function is called on that string with our digit finding regular expression and our digit to string function. Every digit in the string will be replaced with a string representation of the digit, and then all of that will be placed back into the words text field. So, given that we haven't made any typographical errors typing this in, let's give it a shot and see what happens. So we'll save it. Open a web browser. Find our file. There it is. Open it up. And let's try that Dr. Seuss classic, one fish, two fish. Hit replace. And you see that it replaced each digit with a string representation. Let's try it again. Different strings, and you see that it works just fine. So going back to the example, we see that the JavaScript function replace can take a function as a argument to another function, and that's a very powerful feature and one of the really cool things about JavaScript. So that every time we find a digit match, we pass that digit to the function. The function looks at the digit and returns the string representation of that digit using a very simple table lookup that we created by putting all of the string numbers into an array where the string number is in the same place as the corresponding digit index. So that the string 0 is in the 0th position, the string 1 is in the first position, and so on. So that wraps up this lesson on string replacement using regular expressions. 